Ladies and gentlemen, let me now invite uh, with an introduction, Mr. Neil Chatterjee, Chairman of Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. He is serving as Chairman of FERC for the second time since August 2017. He's also an American lawyer and a political advisor. He's a graduate of St. Lawrence University and the University of Cincinnati College of Law. He has played an in integral role in the passage of major energy, highway and agriculture le legislations in USA. Let's welcome him with a huge round of applause, Mr. Neil Chatterjee, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for the, uh, for the kind introduction and the opportunity to be here today. I want to express my gratitude for being invited to speak at this year's Smart Utility Week. I'd especially like to thank the sponsors and supporting ministries that have made this event possible. Since serving on the commission, I have realized how important it is to collaborate with regulators and industry officials around the world. I'm grateful to be here in Delhi on the heels of such a historic visit by President Trump and Energy Secretary Briex. I'm especially pleased to see the concrete progress coming out of that visit, including the signing of a letter of cooperation between ExxonMobil India LNG Limited and Indian Oil Corporation Limited to establish a system of transportation infrastructure to expand gas access in India. Opportunities like these are fostered by the bilateral exchanges through the Strategic Energy Partnership, or SEP. The SEP has created an environment for collaboration on enhanced oil and gas trade and development, the deployment of renewable energy technologies, strengthening and modernizing our power infrastructure, and enhancing energy efficiency, among other things. As chairman, I support these initiatives and will discuss in a moment ways that our commission is engaging directly with the government of India. We may not be connected by any transmission lines or pipelines, but we are all dealing with similar issues as the energy industry undergoes a major transformation. While it may be tempting to stay narrowly focused on the issues directly under our purview, losing sight of what's happening in other countries, I believe is short-sighted. We have much to learn from each other, and I'm grateful for forums such as this one that provide many benefits to all participants. Building on the theme of working together, I'd like to highlight some work that the Commission has undertaken with the Government of India. I was pleased to attend the launch in Delhi last year of the new Flexible Resources Initiative, or FRI, under the U.S.-India Clean Energy Finance Task Force as part of our shared vision for cleaner and more reliable power in India. Under the Asia Enhancing Development and Growth Through Energy, or EDGE, initiative, the FRI will support India's economic growth by promoting key flexible resources like natural gas and battery storage to help achieve India's ambitious renewable energy goals and vision for a gas-based economy. Most notably, under this initiative, we've already engaged at a deep level with India's Central Electricity Regulatory Commission, or CERC, as they embark on bold efforts to reform the country's electricity markets. As is the case in my home country, the harmonization of policymaking and regulation is key. The full spectrum of flexible resources that this new initiative seeks to achieve will be foundational for the market mechanisms that will enable the Indian power sector to thrive efficiently and cost effectively. Drawing from our own three decades of experience in wholesale electricity markets in the United States, we have engaged in fruitful discussions with CERC on how to identify the best path forward for India. I am looking forward to September when we, along with the U.S. State Department, will deliver a list of our recommendations for the Government of India's consideration as it embarks on its energy reforms. But I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge that our international collaboration reaches well beyond CERC. Just last year, it was my pleasure 
to sign MOUs with India's Petroleum and Natural Gas Regulatory Board and Singapore's Energy Market Authority. Both institutions are reforming their respective markets and looking to build on the U.S. regulatory experience. These agreements pave the way for ongoing substantive dialogues that cover regulatory models and issues related to natural gas development. We look forward to that continued work as we have much to learn from regulators in this region. Now, shifting to the topics that we are gathered here to discuss today. Since this conference is focused on new technologies and opportunities to unleash benefits in the energy sector, I'd like to speak a little bit about what FERC is doing in this space. A major priority of mine since joining the agency has been to remove barriers to the participation of new technologies such as renewables, storage, and distributed energy resources in electricity markets. And I'm pleased to report that the Commission has made significant progress on these issues already. Last year, we issued a final rule on energy storage, and we are currently making final decisions on compliance with that rule. In addition, we're working diligently on a proposal to allow aggregated distributed energy resources to compete in the wholesale market. From my vantage point, one of the most interesting challenges that we are currently facing is how to ensure that grid operators have the information they need to maintain reliability as generating resources become smaller and more distributed across the grid. We are still working through the nuts and bolts of the distributed energy resources proposal, but things like data requirements, metering infrastructure, and communications will be key to successfully integrating growing numbers of distributed energy resources. I also expect the increasing impact of storage to have a transformational effect on the way that we plan and operate the grid. I think my team in the U.S. gets annoyed with me when I refer to storage as a game changer because they say it's too cliché. But there's truth in the cliché. There is unanimity in the belief that storage will be that transformative technology. So let me say it again for emphasis. Storage is a game changer. I believe that co-locating storage technology with solar and with wind has the capacity to fundamentally alter the way that we generate, distribute, and consume energy, and that is an exciting prospect. But while technologies like storage can be transformative, for us to be able to realize their full value, we must ensure communication between the customer, the distribution utility, the transmission utility, and the system operator in a way that's never been done before. This isn't a bad challenge to have, but it's going to take the efforts of hardworking technical experts like yourselves to make technologies like storage a reality. One final point I will make, it's helpful to focus on allowing new technologies onto the grid, but in doing so, we cannot lose sight of cybersecurity as a key issue. Each new device on the grid is a potential attack vector. At FERC, I'm committed to ensuring the cyber and physical security of the bulk electric system, not, not only through mandatory reliability standards, but also through the implementation of best practices developed by industry stakeholders. With that said, I look forward to the conference and I appreciate the opportunity to be with you all here today to share my views about the top issues currently facing us. Thank you.